Hey, it gets dark at like 5 p.m. in Michigan in the winter, so bear with me. We are in South Lyon at a Salvation Army. It's spelled like Leon, L-Y-O-N, but they say Lion here, so I'm going to say it too. We're going to go in there and make some money. How? Finding things in the thrift store that are undervalued, meaning they sell for 2 bucks here and 90 bucks or 80 bucks or however much money on eBay, Amazon, Etsy, whatever. Let's go. This store is not one I frequent usually. Uh, I'm going to be doing every section and I will film myself or film what I see and then speak over it as a, as a voiceover. So you're going to get everything going on up here. I don't normally sell figurines because I think it's kind of a, a dumb thing to do. They break easy. They're not usually worth that much. But I have been seeing some guys selling them for like 500 bucks. So I'm looking at them, reading the backs of them, reading the bottoms. I'd say you're going to find out who the model and maker are in the bottom. That was not anything worth my time, but I wanted to show you guys how I'm doing it. Over to electronics, I like these a lot more. Some cameras, some clock radios. I'm looking for things with a barcode uh, first and foremost. Anything with a, a video game or, a, well, you know, Sony, big brands like that. Um, the, that Sony Walkman, this would be a, uh, what is that, a Pixter, uh, like, a, like a kid's game. They have the sold as is sticker so I could return this potentially. I'm going to look these up after I get them in my cart. Um, any more clocks, any more cameras? I don't really see any. What is this back here? Is it good? Sometimes they hide stuff. Oh, hey, it's a, it's a camera. They want a couple bucks for this, so I'm going to buy it. I'm always getting like 25, 30 bucks for these cameras. They're easy. They take up no space in Amazon. So these three things are going in my cart probably. Now to check the media players, the VCRs, the CD players. This one is a 5 DVD CD changer, and it has an HDMI port. There are two of them here, actually, which makes me kind of worried. Now, why are there two kind of high-end items? It could be because a store closed down, and they're just taking all their uh, their appliances they have. Let's say it's a doctor's office, and they have three waiting rooms. They're taking those out and donating them. Or it could be that they're broken, and um, it's another reseller unloading their bad stock. Either way, they want a bunch of money for them. Too much to even warrant me trying, so I'm going to put them back. This, however, is pretty good. It's uh, a little DVD player uh, with the HDMI port, Blu-ray player. Uh, they want nine bucks for it. I'll get probably fifty bucks for it. This is pretty cool too over here. Uh, some more Blu-ray players. These are really going up in value. Well, not up in value. They're going down in value at thrift stores, and the value online staying the same. So suddenly, it's a, it's kind of a good arbitrage thing to do. You buy in thrift stores and sell them online. The same way, you know, DVD VCR combos are good. Blu-ray players are kind of uh, getting back up to be the kind of thing I look for. They used to be expensive, not anymore. Uh, that Guitar Hero Live guitar, I'm going to pass on that because Guitar Hero Live guitars are the lowest uh, tier of Guitar Hero guitars. This is a, a game system, actually. So back in the late 90s and the early aughts, there were a bunch of uh, knockoff game systems that came out and tried to get their own thing. This was one out of Canada. They did, like, Christian family games. There's the controllers. It really didn't take off. As a novelty, it's worth, like, 50 bucks, but it's not going to sell uh, <laughs> probably at all. Maybe to, like, one person a year. So I'm putting it back. I always scan these uh, little appliances I see on the end racks or whatever because if they're discontinued, sometimes they go for like 50 bucks. I don't know if these do, but uh, like the other day I got a, a, a freeze pipe alarm. You know, you know, you know, in box appliance from like 25 years ago, at like a Ace Hardware or Home Depot, and that sold for 50 bucks. So I'm always looking out for those, and it takes a second to scan something. Over to the Christmas things, I'm looking down for any brands. Anything unique or old looking is going to get a look up from me. That's a handmade item, passing on that. This is a barcode, so it's probably too cheap or too new to be worth my time. Uh, nothing really here jumps out as awesome. I could have passed some stuff up. I don't know. I am an amateur at selling figurines. I'm just trying to give you guys uh, you know, what I'm looking at and what I'm thinking. Going over to the coffee machines, over to the uh, kitchen appliances. They want 15 bucks for this. Uh, if they wanted less, it might be worth it. It's the kind of thing where these coffee machines, they got to get cleaned out before you sell them sometimes. They have to be tested. Kind of a pain in the ass. We do have a model number that we can look up. And so if we go on eBay, we can see that these do uh, actually sell. They do sell for a profit, maybe like five, 10 bucks uh, profit. Not what I'm looking to do at all. It would take some testing and on top of that. It, it really isn't... Um, like compared to like DVDs or video games or VCRs, it is terrible in comparison. That's a big griddle. You can just grill things on. Here's some more cooking kitchen appliances. 
I don't really think I see anything great. The Easy Bake Oven might be worth it if you're, if you're an eBay seller, but on Amazon, there's so many parts included in the original, it isn't worth it. This might be good. These uh, Disney waffle irons or any branded or like a sports team logo waffle iron, those are always worth looking up. That one, I've seen it before, so I know it's worth like 15 bucks, 20 bucks. But if it was like a double waffle maker and you're going to see on eBay in a second what they're going for, they could be worth some more money. Uh, if it was new in box, it'd be an easy pickup. It's not though. So, I mean, you see right there, 30 bucks for one that's brand new on Amazon. I bet it's going for about 50 or 60. Things sell for more on Amazon because uh, it has the air of professionalism and also they can guarantee one day shipping. Things in eBay don't sell for as high of a price, but if you're missing pieces, uh, I would say you, you're better off going there because buyers better understand what they're getting uh, if it's an incomplete item on eBay because you take pictures individually and on Amazon you're working with stock pictures. So this thing's pretty cool. It's like an old video game. It's a blackjack emulator. It, you put in your cards you have or, or whatever it is, or maybe it's bridge. I don't know. It's, it's a card game. It's a card game imitator. I'm pretty sure it's blackjack. Uh, we're going to look it up and see in a second. And unfortunately, yeah, it's blackjack. They're not going for very much money at all. This one's going for like $10. They're cool. They're neat. I would have loved to have saved that from the shelves. Uh, but it's just not worth it. I guess so many people have handheld games or they have apps on their phone or they just play blackjack at a casino. They don't need this unisonic Jimmy the Greek tabletop uh, blackjack machine. They're cool, they're neat, but unfortunately it stays on the rack. Ooh, golf balls, man. I love to golf so much. And these golf balls, I kept coming back to them because I wanted to buy them, but they wanted too much money for them. They wanted like the price that they would sell for on eBay, which is just absurd, especially if it's that many golf balls. What I really hate about some Salvation Armies or any thrift store really is the owners don't work there. It's a charity or whatever. And so the people who work at the cashier really have no understanding of what's going on. And so if you make them an offer, they can't really say yes. Like, Anyone in their right mind would take 20 bucks for that giant thing of golf balls, especially where the Salvation Army is, because they're just going to sit on the floor for months and months and months. I mean, I, man, I could sell them, but they're old, and golf balls don't always hold that well. Uh, you're going to see online that, I mean, they sell, but not for anything worth my time. Same with these golf shoes, too. They're really taxing hard. If I bought all these and I sold all these, I mean, they're in decent condition, but I would be spending like 80 or 90 bucks to make like 30 bucks. And that's not how I do Amazon or eBay or online sales. These Salomon uh, ski boots, uh, I do not think those are the ones in the box. I think someone put their old ones in that box and donated them. That's fine, happens all the time, but what you don't want to do is you don't want to get stuck buying something without looking at it and you get home and you've wasted your money. On to the mugs. If you watch Gary Vaynerchuk, you see that mugs are the kind of thing people like to buy and sell. However, most of these mugs are just complete trash. Most of the mugs you're going to see are trash. And you can make money doing this, but you can't make a lot of money unless you have a great eye. I don't have a great eye, and I'm not going to be looking up every individual item that would take hours and hours and hours. I am just looking for rare or unique things. This is kind of cool. It's uh, anything with a team or a, a military division or an employer or a state or whatever. People are going to want those because they're going to look them up online. You're looking for keywords on most of these things. You want to find the keywords that people are looking up on eBay, and then you're going to sell your mug. You can't just say, cool mug. It's not going to sell. But what you can say is bicentennial glass bake mug. That's what this is right here. That milky color, that's a cool vintage thing people like. But when you see it uh, selling on eBay, it really is not worth as much as I hoped it would be. Maybe like 10 bucks, and on a $1 mug, some of you might be salivating over that. I am not salivating over that. I am kind of irritated that I haven't took the time to look this up because uh, I don't want to hold inventory for months and months and months just to make $7 or for weeks to make $7. This is not what I do. I like to use Amazon because they hold the inventory. On to toys. That's an infant toy. Can't sell that new no matter what. This is like a, a purse maybe, but it's it's a shitty one. Uh, any other toys over here? Looking for new in-box stuff. I'm going to scan the barcodes when I see them. That's not new. It's missing one of the guns. Uh, sometimes I'll find good handheld games. Sometimes I'll find things that have been hidden here by workers who didn't know that uh, I came looking. Hmm, that's new in-box, but it's not worth anything. 
Uh, that's broken right there. Uh, this seen it game could be worth something. It's new in box. I'll scan the back barcode, but I'm not getting my hopes up. Seen it stuff is not always worth that much money. Sometimes the niche sets are like it's like a, an old TV series that's been canceled, and it's the seen it for that. Maybe it's nice, but just regular seen it or like ESPN seen it is not really ever worth that much money. This thing is missing a hammer right there. Otherwise, I would have bought it because these like play school sets do sell pretty good usually, but when they're not complete. It really isn't worth our time. So I've hit electronics, hit toys, hit figurines, hit uh, mugs. I guess I'm really just doing one last soup around here. Anything else new in box like this? Hey, that's pretty actually a good find. These sell for like between 50 and 80 bucks. Uh, maybe 25 and 80. I'm going to ask 50 and 80 though because it's almost Christmas and that's new. They're not any, any more of those being made. How much of this will I keep? I don't know. There you go, folks. Took about 25 minutes in there. Spent 40 bucks. I took out the picture toy. I took out the uh, leapfrog drum thing. And I took out the uh, the aerator for an aquarium because they were only worth about five bucks profit each, five, 10 bucks. And I, I don't know, I wasn't really doing this to get a lot of inventory. I have a lot of inventory. These are all things that are at least like, uh, you know, 10 Xers. Um, again, yeah, here's the receipt down here. I spent, yeah, thirty nine sixty seven, and uh, I should make about five hundred bucks off this stuff. Done raining, so I'm gonna get off, uh, go off my phone, and start driving home. That's the video again, guys. Thanks so much for watching. You are the best. Oh wait, except for the shitheads. Don't be a shithead.